Hello and welcome. This is the Game Time Gazette. This is your host Isaiah Emeni. I thank you for joining in. It's made a great decision tuning into this podcast. We talk all sports and all types of fun. So without further ado, let's get ready and let's go. Alrighty. Welcome back, guys. It's Isaiah Nenny. I'm welcome back with Nye Simmons. Glad to have him back. Yeah. You know, uh, it's the Game Time Gazette. It was a fun weekend of sports. I mean, there was a lot. There was a lot. Let's just get right into it. I want to start with the, sure. you know, the the fight that happened on Friday, Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua. Uh, for the lot of you that have watched this, you know what have happened. It was a quick fight. This yeah. was a quick fight, and it surprised me too because I was talking about it on the pod before the fight happened, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yo, I'm expecting big things from Francis, you know, because like that whole Tyson Fury thing. I did say, you know, Tyson Fury. I don't think he took him serious, you know. Yeah. Like he came, bro, because like this is first round. Anthony Joshua's dropping in Ganu. It looks scary, bro. I know. Is I don't even know how I felt about it. It was. For me, like the guys who go from UFC to try to box, mm. or like to, from boxing to UFC, like it don't usually translate like you think it would. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, that whole Connor thing, it was all about money. You mm-hmm. know, it wasn't that he was a good boxer, it was yeah, all about was money, a... you know? But like when Francis <clears throat> fought Tyson Fury, I got hope. I'm like, oh, yo, yo. Could, could Francis box? Because Francis was giving them, mm-hmm. you know, some some punches, this and that. But then you look at the whole thing about how Tyson Fury started training like a few weeks before, yeah. you know, and then it was like he just didn't take him serious, though. But Anthony Joshua, he came in focused and he knew that like if he lost this fight, because him like all right, he lost, um, he's obviously lost a few fights in these last few years. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Andy Ruiz fight, that one that like is probably his. Worst, worst loss, loss you know so sure. it's like he can't be getting these type of losses where it's like he's supposed to win i knew he was gonna come in and just you know dominate and that's what he did that's what he did it only took him two rounds only took him two rounds and you know the craziest thing too uh, like when we're when we talk about ufc later bro dana white replaced this guy in ganu bro and it's crazy because it's like i mean he made his money though like mm-hmm. you know at the end of the day yeah. he made his money he did his goal, but he made like 30 mil off this fight or something like that. So it's like, end of the day, I feel like he did his thing. But I just feel bad for him, bro. Nah, I, I know he was sick, bro. To yeah. get knocked like that. Oh my goodness, see that. Jeez Louise, let's see that again. Like two rounds. These are three minute rounds too. So it's like, this yeah. guy was doing quick work. Bow. Damn. And a lot of people were saying, yo, they thought that Nganu was paid off. Like, what do you think, nah, fam? Nah, like, nah. yo, because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think so. Guy looks <laughs> like he just went out cold, like, boom. Because they're saying the way his leg buckled right there. But I don't see that, bro. I think he, he got knocked. Just That's got his knocked out like cold. He got messed up. <laughs> nah, that was, uh, nah, that was serious, bro. I mean, and Anthony Joshua, that's a, it's a big win for him. I mean, mm-hmm. statement win, looking at it. Jeez and, Louise. I don't know. I didn't really have a pick for this fight, but I didn't think that Nagano was going to get knocked like that. Yeah, no. Nah, honestly, even though I thought um, Anthony Joshua was going to win the fight, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I thought it was going to go decision maybe, probably eight rounds or some TKO at least. Yeah. That's a knockout, that's, bro. <laughs> that, that's a knockout. Like, he was down on the floor for like two minutes when they were trying to revive him. Like, that was... Yeah, nah. I, like he seen the lifeblood like just flash be- before his eyes and you know oh we got like a since we're on boxing right now like since i've been saying that i wanted to talk about you know what's happening with the whole ryan garcia thing yeah like you've been seeing the social media a lot like what mm-hmm. do you think about that like i've been meaning to talk about it i just always forget uh i don't know like he i don't know what if it's trying to promote the fight or uh. he trying to a midlife crisis, or just maybe this, maybe this shit is true. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know because, like, yeah, he's fighting Devin Haney next mm. month, April 12th, something like that, literally yeah. in under a month. And it's like, I'm seeing all this, and it's like he's crashing out. Like, to me, it's kind of like, I thought at first, oh, he's promoting the mm. fight. Like, this is, all right, like, they just want man to get, like, eyes on the fight, this yeah. and that. But, like... You search up the whole Bohemian Grove and whatever he's talking about and the secret society, basically, right? And it's like, it's real. Like, supposedly Kyrie came out in a press conference and said, like, oh, it's real, this and that. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if he's, yeah, like, it's it's a crazy thing in the boxing world, like, you know, because that Devin Haney fight and uh, Ryan Garcia is one of the fights I'm looking forward to. For sure. And only because boxing, they don't fight each other. They don't fight each other. Mm -hmm. Like, the the next other, yeah. 
I feel like uh, like if he keeps this up, they probably gonna just cancel that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's trying to cancel it. That's what I'm saying. Then it's gonna be like, oh, his mental health is off, so yeah. we, can't, we can't do it. You know, just like, not in the right mental state, something like that. Yeah. And I. I truly feel like he's just trying to duck out of the fight like i don't feel like bro what like how this is coming out of nowhere yeah i don't know where it's very random like super know. random bro and it's like looking at the whole like i mean boxes do not fight like you know mm-hmm. them like and that's why ufc to me like yeah they, they've taken over like if we're talking yeah. fighting or whatever they've taken over because we go to ufc 299 Jeez, Louise! I mean, oh, what do you th- before we go to that? What yeah. do you think about uh, Tyson and Jake Paul? Oh, yeah, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. That's gonna be a good one, bro. That's gonna be a good one. I mean, Jake Paul. A lot of people hate on him, but like, I like the entertainment factor of Jake Paul because, mm-hmm. like, you know, like him or don't like him, you want to watch to see Jake Paul lose. Still, you know like what I'm that, saying? Uh, <laughs> almost like like how like Conor McGregor effect. Like, yeah, you know, Conor McGregor was like a real showman when he was. Yeah, no cap. He used to sell his fights for real. So no it's, cap. It's kind of like that with Jake Paul. Yeah, nah, he has shades of that for real. Like you mm-hmm. want to see him lose. Like you want to see him get knocked out. And or now, if you want to see him win, you want to see him like get knocked out, right? Yeah. Like now, I think him fighting Mike Tyson mm. is almost like a safety blanket. Whereas, like if he loses, oh, it's, it's Mike, Mike Tyson. Tyson. Like he yeah. can't just get <laughs> like if he gets knocked out first round, then it's gonna be humiliating. But if yeah. he can last a couple of rounds. And lose, oh, it's Mike Tyson. Who's gonna really care? But if he wins, yeah. it's Mike Tyson. You just no beat cow. Mike Tyson. So it's he, a win-win. He's for smart. Him. Yeah, for sure. Is. Like if he loses, it's not gonna be really like a. Nobody's gonna be like, oh, yeah. No, it's Mike Tyson. It's Mike. He shouldn't beat Mike. Real talks. He shouldn't. Yeah. If, if he wins, it's like, damn. Do we take him serious now? It's Mike Tyson. That's true. Now I never thought about it like he's that smart. too. Yeah, because yeah, he could get Mike too. Mike is what sixty years old, but he moves good. Yeah. So it's like nobody's gonna be like, oh, it's. Nobody could say that about Mike Tyson, or mm-hmm. like, oh my. Even though you could say he's old, because you we've seen all the videos from him, like on Instagram yeah. these last few years, honestly, where he's still training this and that. He's always been training, so it's yeah. still like, yeah, he gets Mike. It's like, oh, he beat Mike Tyson. That's true. As, That's as true. long he as gets he don't knocked. get knocked in the first round, I facts. Think. First and second, like uh, like in Ghana, yeah, I feel like yeah, you're good. Yeah, he's good. Bro. You're good. Yeah, no, that's he's true. Smart. It's gonna be a big payday. So. Big payday. Smart, bro. It's on Netflix. That whole mm. Netflix thing, like you see how they got WWE. Like Netflix is starting to, we're starting to see the streaming wars. I think they were trying getting, to get, they're trying to get the NBA in a couple of years. Bro, like, I, once the new CBA, that like the current one, mm-hmm. or like I think Netflix. I seen so Netflix was even trying to get into that. I wouldn't even be surprised. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. I I see that happening. Still, the way the NBA is and the way like Netflix is, Thanks. 82 games on Netflix. Yeah, now like I see that happen. <laughs> I, I mean, I would be tuned into it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but so. then you just know the Netflix price is about to go up. They're about yeah, to go yeah, up even yeah. more. WWE's <laughs> on there. <laughs> Boxing's on there, yeah. uh, you know. NBA's on there. Now nah, this is we're we're in an interesting time, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I wish the boxing was a little better. I enjoyed this weekend though. I even watched like a few of the other fights too, yeah. and there were some good fights in this in this card or whatever. But like, I want boxing to like be like MMA. Like as we're gonna look at the MMA now, mm-hmm. uh, let's see where we could get some. Like I wanna I wanna show you the the one fight of the. The Dana replacement of what's this guy's name? Tyson and Ganu, or Francis and Ganu? Tyson and Ganu. I'm thinking of Tyson Fury too. Mm. Um, what's his name? Uh, Rebels de Sponge. That's what his name. Yeah. This guy's crazy. He even looks like Nganu. Like his his build mm-hmm. looks like Nganu. Let's see which one has the. Hmm. This guy's last three fights, he's won within 30 seconds. Like all combined, it's yeah. been 30 seconds still. This is the I guess this is the best angle we're gonna get. Yo, UFC really gets the copyrights out here on, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Eh? That's crazy. That's crazy. But like, yeah, he like in this one, yeah, it started quick. Started hitting, did one leg kick. He's gonna do the leg kick here. He's gonna drop. It's gonna come there, drop, and then bro, he gets up. Boom, 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 knockout. Damn, crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Damn, that thing like that in my life. And that's how he fights. His last like three fights, he's won within mm-hmm. ten seconds. And that's like, I that was that was early prelims too. And like, uh, you know, when I seen the whole card. 
I knew that that um, that that Dana White was cooking. Had another one with uh, this was one of my other favorite fights of the night too. Curtis Blade against um, Almedia. Almeria, Media, whatever his name is. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Some full recap highlights. This one was a good fight. Almedia, Almedia. Uh, what's it called? He took Curtis Blade down nine times in the first round. Damn. Second round starts. Like, look at this. All right, Almedia wastes no time shooting. All right, he takes down. He took down Curtis Blade nine times. You can't have a more like. Dominant, uh, you round. know, first round mm -hmm. and bro, second round starts. He tries taking him down again. You'll see stuff, and then Curtis Blade just tss, tss, tss. that's why I love UFC. It's never done, you know, it's always like you have a chance. Mm -hmm. And this a uh, media guy, bro, they call him the crotch sniffer because all he does is <laughs> take down guys. Like, this is all he does because he's so good at it, too. Crotch that's the thing about, crazy. yeah, it's, <laughs> nah, they, you see, like the shoot for the early takedown, mm -hmm. you know, move the weight, and then bow, just started hitting him. You know, and he knocked him out. 17 straight fights on Media One. I thought he was gonna go to the you know a championship fight before he before he like got beat, but mm -hmm. nah he won. Yeah, I mean I mean he lost. Did too much, he got too cocky, nine takedowns. Yeah. I Start mean getting greedy. Yeah, got mm -hmm. way too greedy. He already had nine takedowns, brother. Start getting tunnel vision. Brother, I mean, yeah, he could have taken his time. He mm -hmm. could have actually coasted for the next two rounds. And there was no way, unless Curry just knocked him out like he did, there was no way he could have won the fight. Yeah. And that's like, you know, like, yeah, media. that's why they call him, uh, you know, the crotch sniffer, this and that, because he's so annoying, too. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all he does. All he goes is for takedowns, and then the whole five minutes is spent on the ground. Because he's uh, he took it down. He took down the man in, like, the first 30 seconds. Next five minutes spent on the ground. Nothing the ref could do. Can't tell them to get up, mm -hmm. you know, and because it's part of the... That's that's, that's mixed, mar mixed martial arts, right? Yeah. You know, but I'm happy to create this one because, yeah, the, nobody likes that old media guy. He's so <laughs> dominant, but yeah. like just so boring, you know? Like, you want to see some knockouts, you want to see some, uh, some, some, I don't know, some, some action. Like Dustin Poirier versus, uh, Poirier looked pretty good, brother. I, I bet seeing, um, Saint uh, Saint Denise or Bond, I, I don't know how to say his name, but not but not Denise, mm -hmm. brother. I bet him. I was I was watching this match and because I, I was seeing it on the pop. Poirier is one of my favorite fighters. This and that. Yeah, I yeah. don't know why I don't bet him. You know, <laughs> like I I was watching this and I'm like, geez, he's back. Mm -hmm. He's back because we seen him lose against Gaethje. We seen him. Um, was it Gaethje and then what's his name? The guy at the top right now, Makachev. Right? No, no, he didn't race Makachev. Was it? Uh... Volk? Oh, Volk. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But he's lost a few fights, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, I thought Dustin was done. I thought he, oh, this is still the photos, yo. I oh, want to see some actual highlights. Yes, he really got this on lock. Oh, that's all right. But yeah, no, the knockout was crazy. I mean... Real underdog as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think Dustin Poirier has ever been plus 185 in his career. Yeah. You know, and, and this guy, Sam Benice, he's like, he's a dog. He's never lost in this lightweight division. Um, he's 13-1 and one in the UFC. Yeah. Even that one loss that he took, it was like, yeah, again, just fighter, just fighter fatigue. I guess fighter fatigue in this fight, too. Just made a mistake. Yeah. Still a young guy, though. You know, and like Dustin Poirier he said, he'll be back. Because, yeah, he has, like, technique. He has, like, he's like... To me, like, that's why I bet him, because he looked like he was next up, that like, next up, yeah. you know, had that next up thing, because Dustin, it looked like the classic UFC story where, you know, this older guy, mm -hmm. you know, he's real good, though, and everybody loved him at his time, he was former champion, this and that, but his time has gone, like, mm -hmm. and that's so often in the UFC, because, like, bro, you have, like, what, two, three years, like, even Conor McGregor, we talk about Conor McGregor, like, Conor McGregor's yeah. time has passed him, you way know, past. <laughs> way past him, the only reason he's still fighting this and that is because it's Conor McGregor, he's still popular, mm -hmm. Dana White loves him, still makes money, so he's still fighting this and that, but... Connor's time is like yeah, like what twenty? Like after he lost to Khabib the yeah. second time or whatever, it was done. It was yeah. done, you know. Like so, then he got hurt. I guess it was yeah, Poirier, that's the Poirier. Right? Yeah, yeah. got knocked out against Poirier too. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah, they got hurt on the one fight, came back, knocked out on the second cool. fight. So it's like yeah, this time's been done, you know. But to see this it was encouraging for. 
right? Dustin Poirier. I mean, uh, I was talking about the the division as well. That's a tight division. I forget who's in the. Let me. Let me see this again, in the lightweight division. But it's a tight division here. I have a lot of guys. Um, heavyweight, heavyweight, middleweight. <laughs> Yeah, Makachev, Oliveira, Gaethy. Yeah, Poirier is fourth or third again now. Yeah, so he's he's on the rise, you know, after getting that win because uh, Benatson, Denise was like seventh. Oh, he dropped, eh? Yeah, now he's on 12. But this is a I think uh, Islam was even like, uh, I don't know if it was him or his manager, but they were like, <laughs> they were impressed with Dustin. Yeah, so. yeah. No, I mean, I Islam is a guy that needs to go. He needs to fight somebody, bro. Yeah. I haven't seen Islam fight in how long? What was Islam's last fight, bro? Okay, 294. Not bad, but like, yeah, he even fought Volk. And it's like, I want to see him fight somebody in his division, bro. Mm. Fight Charles. I thought that Charles fight was, uh, or is it, it should happen later this year, no? Like the Charles, or is he still injured? Something like, I don't know. Mm. I want to see him fight one of these guys, Justin Gaethy, Charles, you know. I haven't seen this guy. Islam just sits behind his computer and talks, man. <laughs> like, like, yo, come out, fight somebody, bro. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, before we move on from UFC, I want to wanna quickly look at the, even though we're not going to get, we're just going to get pictures, I want to talk about Sean O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera. You know, got to give some love to Sean. That was a fight. That was a fight and a half that he, no, never mind. That was a fight and a half. That was a fight and a half. I mean, I was watching it. Um, I, I had Sean going in there and, and avenging his loss, like because mm -hmm. the the one loss he had against Cheeto, but he was injured. And so the first thing that he said, you know, the, the thing he's been saying since that fight happened is that he has no losses. You know, yeah. that loss doesn't count. And he he really proved that today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he really proved that. I mean, he had like what the significant strikes he he landed like two hundred and twenty five significant yeah. strikes, something it, like and that. It wasn't even close. Yeah, yeah, and it's like. He, he said like some type of record or something for yeah. his division with significant strikes and like yeah he really did his work he did his work and impressive because um first title defense um yeah cheeto Vera just looked i mean he even the leg kick that he ate bro it looked like he's so durable that guy cheeto Vera, mm -hmm. you know like it really looked like to me what it turned a little corner somewhere and been able to offer even more of a a, a fight you know Facts, but yeah it was it was really Sean O'Malley from round one to round five, you know. Uh, even though there was no not, yeah, you can't knock out Cheeto Vera. Still, that that it just doesn't happen. He gave but. him some shots. He yeah. just kept eating them bitches. Eating them hard, like bro, he got bloodied early here. I, let's see if we get the pictures properly, but you really see kind of the bruise on his eye. Oh, that oh my goodness, straight on the chin, bro. And his head was rocking, like you could yeah. see on the the highlight. His head just rocked. I don't know how. See that cut already mm. early, bro early now cheeto bear is a dude bro he's a dude he's a yeah. warrior he's a warrior can't lie about that i don't think he's ever been finished in his mma career which is something to like bro if i'm an mma fighter you know i don't even care about being champion if i've never yeah, been finished, finished yeah. yo that's a that's a feat to have that's a feat to have it's a good thing to have on your resume no cap everybody's been finished you know sean o'malley even though he was injured and he did you know he did avenge it i guess but yeah he, he got finished by cheeto mm -hmm. you know tko this and that so that was a good, you know, impressive win there for Sean. But the one thing I, I, I'm I kind of getting annoyed by UFC fighters nowadays is like, all right, Sean O'Malley wins, and then the first thing he does is call out Ilya Taporia. And it's like, the first thing Ilya Taporia did when he won was call out Sean O'Malley. And it's yeah. like, fam, like, brother, you, this is your first... Ilya Taporia <laughs> doesn't, he hasn't defended his title, yeah. but and Sean O'Malley, this is your first defense. Mm -hmm. Fight some other guys in your division a little bit more. You know, yeah. get up a little bit. Uh, like, he got to fight... Um, I forget who's in... Uh, Oh, Marab, Marab, uh, Trafsvili, Traf, I don't know how to say his last, but Marab, mm -hmm. yeah, Marab even was at the fight, uh, I, I think you probably seen it on Instagram, where he's like, Marab's like, what the fuck, you're not gonna <laughs> call me out, like, fuck yeah, this guy, yeah, now Marab, it's Marab's my turn, bro. <laughs> he's a funny guy, I'm not gonna yeah. lie, even at the, in the, they were walking in the, in the back, or whatever the, wherever they call it, um, 
And then Marab was there, and then he found Sean O'Malley, and then he's like, hey, you don't, you don't want to call me out? And then yeah, he looked yeah. at him, and he's like, oh, I don't even know who that is. And then Marab looks so hurt. Now, that's going to be a good fight. Yeah. That's going to be a good fight still, because Sean O'Malley's a troll, bro. He's, he's a, a troll. troll. Yeah, because I know he knows that he's going to fight Marab next, because Marab, he, he deserved it, bro. Especially after that last fight against... Um, Henry Cejudo, bro, Marab was picking up Henry Cejudo, dropping him mm-hmm. on the other side. That he did. One of the most dominant fights this year. He's definitely going to get his title shot. That's going to be one of, you know, a good a good fight looking forward to um, in the future, I guess. Yeah. UFC 300 still coming up. That's what I'm saying. I wonder who's going to be on that. Yeah, let's, 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 look at the, let's look at the fight card real quick. I heard that, like, <clears throat> these last few months, like, if you keep up with Twitter, UFC, or whatever, a lot of the UFC fans, like, they say this is a packed card, but they really like the UFC 299 card, yeah. uh, you know, opposed to this one. Just because, I guess, the, the main event, even though it's Pereira versus Hill, that's a nice fight. Got Zhang versus Zion Hang. That's uh for the strawweight title there. Oh, that's an all Chinese fight right there. That's that's a nice fight too. Charles yeah, Oliveira. Zang? Yeah, yeah. Zang? Okay. Will, Willie Zhang, yeah. You know, got Charles Oliveira, oh, Justin Gaethy fighting too. It's gonna be interesting though, cause like yeah, one of these two guys, Justin Gaethy and Charles, is gonna yeah, cause when we talk about Islam, yeah, right? Win. You know, like yeah, what, got a Max Holloway fight. That's a good fight. Justin uh, yeah, against fuck, Holloway. Fuck Max, bro. Yeah, and I super fuck with Max. Yeah. He's a Raptors fan. He's a I Raptors like Max, fan. Bro. And uh, he's, uh, that's my guy still. So. This is going to be a good, uh, in my opinion, it should be good. You know, April 13th, next month. Um, it should be good. I, uh, I'm i hoping it's as fun as this last one was because this last one was real, real, real good. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the NFL free agency mm-hmm. just before we get to, uh, I guess, recap whatever happened in the NBA this weekend. But um, since I guess the unofficial start to the NFL free agency is today, um, had already seen some signings, seen some signings this weekend, like the Chris Jones one, Josh Allen franchise, t- franchise tagged. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one that I, yeah, you know, a lot of these ones you just expect, like the Fran- uh, Josh Allen one, um, the Legereus Sneed. I, I, it surprised me a little bit. Not really, though, because he played so great for the Chiefs this last year. Yeah. But they were talking about, oh, how he's going to be a free agent and he's going to come to the Eagles. You know, we need we need a cornerback. So, <laughs> you know, it, it made me sad to see him get franchise tagged. Um, mm-hmm. Brian Burns, you know, some of these ones, very, very, um, <clears throat> very... T. Higgins was franchise tagged, but he asked for a trade. Requested trade yeah, yeah, requested a trade. That one was an interesting one. That happened today as well. I think you- that's just, uh, he probably want to be a number one. Yeah. Playing with Jamar, you're going to be number yeah. two. You probably feel like, I mean, I think he can, though. Yeah, that's true. You know, because, yeah, you play with Jamar, you're never going to get that number one money. Mm-hmm. Never going to get that number one touches. So. You know, that number one love. He's never going to be seen as better than Jamar Chase if he's mm-hmm. in Cincinnati, too. That's the thing I'm booking, you know. And it's like, yeah, like for you, T. Higgins, like it goes to like, I don't know, the Giants or something, Panthers, yeah. a team that like needs a quarter, uh, uh, a wide receiver to pair up with one of these young quarterbacks. Like we talk about Bryce Young needing some weapons. Yeah. Um, New York is, I actually don't know what the Giants are going to do, but they should draft a quarterback. They should draft a quarterback, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, but they have Daniel Jones with that crazy contract. That guy. Guys, agents a guy still sixty mil a year. Daniel Jones, I wish, I wish. But um, what else? You got got the Falcons too, but not really because not a lot of uh, picks. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. I mean, they're this, they're 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 rivals though. But yeah, Pittsburgh got a uh, Russell Wilson. What are you thinking about that, bro? Let's ride in the let's, let's ride in the, Pittsburgh, bro. That whole uh, Russell Wilson and George picking picking the. Uh, mm. That dynamic may work, it may not. Hey, I, I don't know. I, for this one, I'm not going to lie. The feeling I had seeing Russell Wilson go to the uh, the Steelers rather than the Broncos a few years ago, I feel like he's going to do a better job in the Steelers than yeah. he did in the Broncos. I don't know why, but, like, yeah, the Broncos one was just, like, I feel like such a stain in his career. Only a one-year deal this time, too. It's, like, mm-hmm. this is his last shot. Like, if he actually stinks up the spot... He's just going to get paid his last contract. He's not going to get signed by nobody else. This is his last chance. He's with Tomlin, so, you know, Mm. hopefully Tomlin can, you know. And and some people are saying this is Mike Tomlin's last chance, even though Mike Tomlin has never had a losing season. Bro, Pittsburgh's fans are just different. And I hear it, too, because, like, 
the thing about them not winning, but they don't have a quarterback. They, they haven't had a quarterback in the longest yeah, time. And yeah. Who else? Who else they have last year? Uh, Pickett. Rudolph. Yeah, Mason, Mason Rudolph. Rudolph. Like, they on. had um, Trubisky there for Trubisky, a little bit. Yeah. Trubisky, come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> now they've had some stinkers at, at quarterback uh, for yeah. sure. You know, like um, another quarterback thing that happened, Mac Jones getting traded to the Jacksonville Jaguars. That one's one that, that made me kind of sad too because, yeah, they never gave Mac like a real shot. Yeah. First year, he had a solid first year in rookie of the year talks, this yeah. and that. Second year, they put a special teams coordinator and a defensive coordinator to be his like uh, his uh, offensive coordinators in his ear yeah. for a full season. Crazy, bro. Now, I, it, Bill Belichick has never made such a bad decision. Yeah, like, that was, you know, that it was, was a bad call, yeah. such a bad call. Like, and you, we can't even judge Mac Jones's like play because obviously the last year too, obviously it was like the team stunk too. Mm -hmm. So the Patriots the year before he had he didn't have offensive play callers, and then the the next year, this last year, the offense had no weapons. I mean, they had um, Juju Smith Schuster on the outside, but Juju's like. <laughs> Juju's not a weapon like that. Like, come on. Even though he won the title the last uh, with the Chiefs the year before, I mean, that's with the Chiefs, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah, Juju's not like a game changer, especially at this point in, in his career. So he didn't even have the pieces around him, you know. So I mean, for that team, the Patriots going to be an interesting team. They're definitely drafting a quarterback though yeah, after now, yeah. you know seeing that. So that a quarterback sure. is definitely coming in their in their future, which is interesting. Um, and as the draft is draft is this end of this month. Right, or, it's, my, coming, it's coming up. Sure. Coming up real quick, NFL. Yeah, cause the uh, when is it? NFL draft twenty twenty four. I'm just trying to think where Higgins could go. Oh, to. April, end of April. Oh, T Higgins, eh? Or where I would want him to go. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, I keep thinking about the Packers. Packers, eh? With Ooh. Jordan Love. I never I thought mean, about they got, Packers. Packers got a lot of young receivers now, like. Who are pretty good, but put in T. Higgins put in, in T. there. Higgins there, who's yeah. already already legit with Jordan Love. They got Aaron Jones. They have some pieces there. Christian Watson. You keep Romeo Dobbs. Yeah, too, or one of them. No, I, honestly, yeah. that's that's not a bad fit right there. That that makes sense too. Just I mean, Jordan Love had a phenomenal first year. I did not expect him the I way he started. That good. You know what I'm saying? The way he started and the way he finished. Yeah. Two different players, like. like He's nice. Bro. He's nice. He's nice. Went in there, beat the Cowboys, which I love to see. Oh, I love oh, to yeah, see yeah, them yeah. beat the Cowboys, bro. I bet them that day too. Mm -hmm. I bet them. I just bet them for the fucks of it. I just woke up and I'm like, yo, I feel like he's gonna Don't win play. stuff. And they did. They slapped them. I mean, they almost they almost had the 49ers too. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that one that one was a sad one. I really wanted them to beat the 49ers too. Yeah. But yeah, the 49ers just had too many pieces at the end mm -hmm. to be able to make it. I get Christian McCaffrey was having the year of his life. But yeah, no, I I see the I see that fit there with um I was also thinking the Bears, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the Bears. You know, because the, the way the Bears are moving, they just I mean their offense trying to build their offense uh, around, I guess, whoever their QB is. Gonna still be interesting to see who they I mean, keep. They get, they get Caleb Williams. They got T. Higgins off rips. Could be like a CJ Stroud type. Yeah, of. got T. Higgins and who's their guy that they got right now? Um, yeah, Moore, DJ Moore. Yeah, DJ Moore. So they already got like a tandem yeah. there if they get T. Higgins, right? So that, that'd be a nice team, mm -hmm. you know. And finally, it 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 sucked for Justin Fields because they'd finally have yeah, an offense, one, right? you know. Like as soon as they as soon because they got a they got a running back, they signed yeah, one today. Yeah. D Swift is a nice running back. Played really well for the Eagles last year. How'd you feel if Saquon went to the Eagles? Oh, I'd love that. I'd love that. But behind our O line too. Oh, but the thing is though, Justin Fields running. Yeah, I mean. I might say Justin. Uh, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Yeah, nah. That, that'd be good, bro. If he could stay healthy, too, that's the most important mm -hmm. thing about Saquon Barkley. Yeah. But we seen him healthy last season, and he was the best player on the Giants, obviously. Yeah, Giants was, thing. I, I, watched, I remember I was watching some of the games. He was like, he was getting like 25 carries. Brother. Like, they was going like 10 points, and he was getting the carry. Just, he was, yeah. he was catching the ball, or he was running? Yeah, nah. He's even a, a pass catcher as mm -hmm. well. He's dynamic, and it's like, if he's still, the thing about running backs, too, it's like, their their lifespan in the NFL is so short because yeah. of their like they take the most type the of most pain. Hit, yeah. yeah, so it's that like, wear and tear. Yeah, you know, I, I just hope that yeah he still has one more good year in him because mm -hmm. if he does, bro, behind our own line, just re-sign Landon Dickerson after uh, lost Jason Kelsey to retirement. That was like a a nice goodbye salute. You yeah. seen the Jason Kelsey? Uh, 
press conference or whatever. I didn't watch the full thing. I, no? I, did, I had seen a little bit of it. See, I was watching it, bro. He, he, he was almost making me cry, bro. This guy's talking about him and his bro living life yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, the way Philly embraced him. Now that Jason Kelsey, I'm going to miss that guy. One mm-hmm. of the best centers ever. But yeah, I just re signed Landon Dickerson. Um, still got Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson still there. Uh, my uh, lot is still there. Yeah. Still have not. And, you That's know, obviously going to draft some guys too. So it's like, yeah, behind our old line, I feel like. The the Giants or uh, the Eagles <laughs> would be a nice would be a nice it's definitely for, a lot better than you know, the Giants for sure. Yeah. No, I mean those last few years that he's been spending there, it's been crazy. It's been crazy, and yeah. they give him a lot of production. That's why he gets so injured too, because yeah. he has so much production on that team. Mm-hmm. And it's like you know, uh, I'm interested to see that like uh, what's gonna happen there. See a few other players. Calvin Ridley didn't get re-signed. That surprised me too. I want to see where Derrick Henry goes. Yeah, Derrick Henry. Yeah, that's a big one, too. I wanted him to be an eagle, too, before they were talking about Saquon mm-hmm. Barkley. You know, Derrick Henry's a tank, bro. Put him behind the right O-line. Yeah, bro. Telling me he can't produce. Like, <clears throat> I mean. Yeah, I think he, at minimum, he can get 1,300. He may not get 15. He's not yeah. gonna get, he probably not going to get 2,000, like, a couple yeah. years ago. But. Nah, he could still get, yeah. Close to 1,500, 15, I think, 15, at sure. least. You know what I'm saying? At least 1,100. Mm-hmm. He'd still be, you know, serviceable out there. And 1,100 would put him in, like, the top six of last year. So, it's like, yeah, yeah that so would be you. real nice. That'd be real nice on any team. And I, 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 I'm I, hearing, like, Cowboys for him, like, because of that whole uh, Pollard thing. I heard, to be honest, Cowboys, whatever running back is out there right now, it, it got their name with Cowboys on it. Barkley, I'm hearing Cowboys. Mm-hmm. Um, I think know. they're going to be. I has I had a lot of high hopes for Pollard. Yeah, for Pollard, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing about him is like, yeah, he's a small running back too. So when when they like uh, pack up that box too for uh, against him, yeah, because bro, uh, what's his name, Dak Prescott? He's not gonna win you no playoff games mm-hmm. still. So when they pack up that box, yeah. yeah, it's hard for him to it's hard for him to get anywhere. <laughs> so I see, yeah, Derrick Henry would be a nice pickup for them to be honest. Yeah, strong, big. But Can't I, stop that guy. They used to cheese me. They used to be in the end zone. <laughs> I used to take Pilot for a touchdown, to run into a brick wall. Just I'm nah, like, bro, yeah. in the goal line, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, run it into happened a brick a lot. wall. I'm like, damn, bro. Then they put in the, what's the next running back. The Vaughn guy or whatever, right? Yeah, like, I think it's, is it white? his last name White or something? Or yeah. Like, they put in the, the next running back, and then he would score, CD would score. I'm like, yeah, man. nah. It, definitely not Pilot's best year last year. Mm-hmm. I, it was. Yeah, it was it was a lot for him. Yeah, because he could. Yeah, he'd just be at the one yard line and he'd get stuffed. It happened yeah. in the playoffs too. It happened like it's it, it's it was be like third and one. Yeah, like come on, just just get, this, get, get this one yard. Lose lose ten yards. Yeah, like, nah. Bro. For for running back too, that's like you know like that's your job too. You yeah. know, and as a consistent basis, that's why they're looking at everybody else right now. Um. Yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting, especially when it really opens up on Wednesday, yeah. and we really, I, I mean, as the day goes on today, and we really start seeing gonna be a, a lot more. more yeah. You know, like that's it's gonna be it's gonna be real more. It's gonna get more and more interesting. Uh, let's check out some NBA games today, preview some games today, and then I guess we'll get out of here. Oh my goodness, bro! Why has the NBA been doing this to us, bro? What the hell is this, bro? What is this, bro? I see you know, the action this weekend. I was so mad with Charlotte the other day because I think they lost to Washington. But yeah, they, and I wanted Washington to get close <laughs> to the the twenty seven losses in a row. Oh, weird, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I I seen a bet that uh for Washington to not win a game the whole season, yeah, like and that, that was a very real bet too. If Charlotte, yeah, Charlotte, where is it at? I think it was it was Friday. I yeah, think. yeah. Charlotte, if Charlotte was able to win out this game, and they got they they, they, they started coming back a little bit, yeah. and then yeah, I, I I was surprised still. And I, this is the game that I was like, bro, NBA, what are you doing? Yeah, like fam, <laughs> like I know they they can't predict what teams are gonna be trash, but nobody wants to watch Charlotte versus Washington mm-hmm. on a Friday night, bro. Sixers were getting slapped by the by the uh, by by Pelicans at one point. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only game that was really interesting was like Timberwolves against Cavs. But even then, this whole day was washed, bro. Yeah. Whole day was washed. Knicks and Magic couldn't score anything. Nobody wanted to watch that Brickfest. Nah, I was like, the Knicks had another Brickfest last night with, the, with Philly. It was like 79, 73. 76. Oh, yeah, 79, 73. That's crazy. That's crazy. I didn't even watch the game, and I seen at the end of the game, I said, yo, that's the final score? Yeah. Because I seen the precious Achua shot where he, like, airballed it, mm-hmm. 20 seconds left. I was like, oh, that's, like, third quarter or something. And I was like, 
for it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the final score. Final that's crazy. Score. Yeah, no, you don't see that a lot happen nowadays. I think they said like uh that's the last time it happened since like 2016, mm-hmm. something like that. And then like the whole Twitter, because it's been like um we are so done with the nineties. You've been seeing I that. I was in that, yeah, all <laughs> my TikTok and my Twitter. Everyone's trying to get at Jordan and say we are so done with the nineties. Hey, what, what what's all these talks? Man's are talking like they don't know Clyde Drexler was a guy. Clyde yeah. Drexler, he was like Kyrie, bro. He used to do it to everybody. Like man's are moving like they don't yeah, know nah, Clyde was a guy. There was man's basketball in the nineties, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. They're posting clips, they're like they were giving Jordan the Ben Simmons treatment back Bad then. <laughs> Say nobody had a left hand. I'm like, yeah, that is, they were going in on the '90s stuff. I mean, I guess it's the the conversation with like LeBron. Be- who's say, who's Le- your Le- goal? Le- I am a LeBron fan. So mm. I would say LeBron, but I'm not I'm not one of those Bron sexuals though either. Fam, I do like LeBron, but I'm not like a saying I'm going hard in the paint for Bron. Eh? Yeah, I think <laughs> I think LeBron's better, but I'm not gonna be here. Oh, jo- I'm not gonna sit here and say Jordan was trash. And, <laughs> All of that, on, bro. bro. You're just hearing some fool. <laughs> Yeah. Here in the old, this guy's first in plumbers. This guy, I'm like, bro, Kai Drexler is a Hall of Famer, fam. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, he's giving them buckets. Like, and this and that. Oh, like, yeah, the Ben Simmons treatment was wild, <laughs> fam. I'm hearing it. I'm like, bro, yeah. Jordan had six threes in the game in the finals one time. Yeah, Let's that's the same. Jordan couldn't go left. Oh, and... my goodness. Like, yo, these kids, they need a, they need a, they need a yeah, watch some fu- tape. It was, it was funny to see. Nah, man. it was, it was hilarious stuff. <laughs> the whole discourse <laughs> is hilarious because to me yeah like i'm a jordan guy and i say jordan's the goal and to me conversations been done like when lebron first went to the lakers mm-hmm. and they stunk that's when the conversation ended for me i'm not gonna lie mm-hmm. still when he had lonzo brandon ingram this and that they didn't make the playoffs i'm like would this ever happen i mean you know they got ad the next year they won the chip whatever whatever yeah cool beans but but that was just his fourth chip. We're not talking like it was his fifth so, or sixth chip. What if he wins this year with this team? Back in the conversation for sure. I'm back, not gonna back lie. in the convo. Not back even. In the combo. Nah, 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 nah. Right he's now he's out of the convo. <laughs> he's back in. Back in the convo. I'll, I'll yeah. allow him back in the conversation. But all these stuff. But Boston, like, what if he go? Like, what if he goes through? Like, let's, what was the mm. hypothetically the hardest path? Like, if he. Let's see. Here, I don't yeah. even know if it's possible, but like, if he beat the Clippers, he beat Denver. Mm. Then throw in like, I don't know. Yeah, he'd have to beat like throw in Minnesota, of those. and yeah. then they beat Boston. Yeah, he'd have to do. What do you do that? Like the hardest, the hardest route possible. Back to back to back, and he he get that chip. Finals MVP. He averaged if it's twenty averaging. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm he saying. Average twenty eight, right. seven and six, something All like right. that. Good efficiency. All right, if it's him doing it, cool beans. LeBron, you're the goat for sure. But mm-hmm. if it's D'Lo. If it's AD, I don't know what to, I don't know how we could sit here and talk about Brown being the GOAT, this and that. You know what I'm saying? And if it doesn't happen at that too, if they lose, let, let's see, hypothetically, they verse the Thunder first round. Because right now, they'll verse Thunder first round if they make it into the playoffs, right? Mm-hmm. Hypothetically, they get beat. And let's say five, six games. Go conversation can't even restart <laughs> from like to me it can't even like that that, that just dead brown sexuals have to turn into something else because hey, no, no it's like crazy. i think that like i mean i don't think it would because mm. he's so old but people would have that as a debt on his legacy no I mean, cap <laughs> i'm gonna put i feel like <laughs> even if lebron averaged 30 and they still lost just because LeBron, yeah, is, nah. he kind of does it to himself. Being so super good does at it this, to himself. Yeah, nah, being like, so good at this age, so it's yeah. kind of like I don't give a fuck how old he is. Nah, that's true. He's still and putting up twenty five, so he better win. Yeah, nah, I mean it's true too with like the whole thing with like LeBron. Like I, even though I'm saying he's out of the conversation, like he's always in the conversation. So everything is a test to mm-hmm. like you know what's happening, you know, and like. <sighs> Yeah, if it if he does lose to the Thunder, even though it's so late in his career, you can't really like. That would be a bad look, though. I'm not even gonna super lie. bad look to me. I mean, Thunder have nobody under twenty four, uh, nobody over twenty four. Shea Gillius, you could dominate him. They have no big men. Chet's their biggest big man. That guy's skinny as hell. Mm-hmm. I mean, be a bad look. Be a bad look. But for sure, if they do go, if they do go your route, take it. Hey, they beat the Thunder. They beat the Clippers second round. And then they. Uh, I don't know who would they verse in the uh, conference nuggets or something. Yeah, they beat the nuggets. Like, if they get to the finals at that already, 
I'll say, all right, you did some mm-hmm. still. You did some. Yeah. Even if they don't beat a Boston, you know, and they go like six, seven to Boston, you did some for sure. Because the Lakers team right now, in my humble opinion, is not that good. You got D'Lo, you got AD, Austin Reeves isn't and that like good. D, like, you know, D'Lo I, isn't even, you know what I'm saying? I do, other than LeBron, like, how many guys on the Lakers do you try to come play? Brother, I don't even trust not one of them, fam. I've been saying it, like, mm-hmm. for years. AD, I don't know what the thing is wrong with AD. He'll have one good game, and he'll have five bad games. And they'll have, like, in the playoffs last year, he'd have one great game, and then the next game, he's trash. Then he'll have mm-hmm. another great game. I don't know if, like, the consistency with AD plays too much GTA or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, that guy's consistency is trash. Yeah. But, like, yeah, other than LeBron, I don't trust nobody. Even d when I'm saying d it's just because d having, like, like a few good games nowadays, mm-hmm. but he gets to the playoffs and then it just starts to shrink a little bit. That, might, who, that might be who it come down to, honestly. D-Lo. No cap. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I think Brown's gonna be Brown, mm-hmm. even though Davis has his moments. I still think Davis twenty getting twenty and ten from Davis yeah. is a could be like a bad night for him. Really, yeah. No. He's still twenty and ten. He's still gonna get blocked. Yeah. So it's, I think really either Reeves or D'Lo would have to be that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not seeing Reeves do too much this year. Like, I'm seeing him fall off a cliff from what he was last year yeah. to this year. So, like, I see uh, D'Lo being more the likely to do that. Um, I mean, they're going to need it. Super need it. Yeah, I mean, so this... It this, has to be one of them. Yeah. <laughs> this West, it's like it the It might deepest. even be both, honestly. I, maybe, yeah. Like going against... Bro, you're going against, like... This is, like, some of the best teams we've seen in, like, the 2020s, right? 2010s. Now, though... Minnesota, no towns. Or, I mean, Ooh. they haven't ruled them out yet, but you're I'm right. Yeah, I've seen you that. Even if yeah. he does come back, he's not going to be. Not going to be all that. Yeah, we, we already were given our. <laughs> we don't even. We didn't even trust towns before. before. You know what I'm saying? He's meniscus tear. Yeah, that's right. Who's going to score for them other than Edwards? That's that's actually true. Still, I even forgot about that. That was some big news, eh? Like right that there. Sucks for them, yeah. yeah, super sucks for Minnesota. Cause even if like right now, yeah, they're not gonna do anything in the playoffs. I actually don't see it happening. Mm-hmm. Playoffs is a month away. And he's injured, like they're saying minimum a month or whatever for his injury. Yeah. And it's a meniscus. So like brother, he's I think out, MB stuff. trying to play with the meniscus and you see what yeah. MB was he was shitty. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Towns with that too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Towns isn't in beads, bro. Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah, now that's uh, it. Super sucks for the Timberwolves, and I see them round, dropping too. Yeah, they're probably gonna play a Golden State or the Lakers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or even like what the Kings is in the mix. They could drop Dallas a little bit. Dallas is in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Drop Phoenix, a if bit. Phoenix drop, you got Kevin Durant and Booker first round. Yeah, and I mean they might not be the first seed. I mean they suck third right now. Right? Third, yeah. But I mean if they drop one more game, uh, or one more spot, I guess uh, Clippers. If the Clippers catch some steam, mm-hmm. that you know they get that fifth fifth matchup get the suns yeah get all of these teams we're talking about because yeah once they're out of that because they're already what they were first seed and then they just continued to yeah, drop yeah. so they just lost last night to the lakers yeah. okay i mean uh, gobert didn't play yeah and davis did go off last but, night. but for gobert for me that just him no offensive bag his impact like what 10 you know points what off what offensive what rebounds and maybe a lot or two so like, like nas reed for me okay that guy in there i like seeing nas reed a lot more than gobert too. you know like yeah mm-hmm. that that's a guy that's gonna have to step up for the timberwolves if they want to make like yeah win a few playoff games for sure it's gonna be interesting yeah, that sucks for them that does suck for them especially because yeah, really. this is one of the deepest wests that we've ever seen honestly so, like, so you want to have everybody yeah. like yeah you need to have everybody no cap because it gets i mean down to 11 bro you're seeing what al prince and goon is doing right now having yeah. like 44 triple doubles this and that bro luka Doncic is on like a six game triple double streak right now it's like this is the deepest the West has been in a while, probably ever, to be honest. Mm-hmm. With, like, the, the amount of teams, you got to have everybody. It's going to be interesting to see um, as the season goes on. Got all these, uh, got some good games today. So, oh, Warriors, no no Curry. No, nah, no Curry. No Curry still, eh? Yeah, that yeah, game's going to suck. Raptors, no, no RJ Barrett, no, no, uh, no Scotty. Scotty. Yeah, that game's going to stink too. <coughs> Not Sons. Sons. You don't think so? Because I don't even think uh, oh, I think Booker might come back, but Mitchell's out, Mobley's out for Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like a not, not the greatest. Yeah, not the greatest day of games for the NBA. I mean, Mavericks Bulls might be all right, but Bulls have stunk this year, in my opinion. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I <laughs> we'll be back yeah, talking some, some uh, you know. <laughs> Whatever whatever happens on in the sports world, obviously got NFL free agency, all of that. And yeah, a lot of more fun stuff going on. 
um whatever happens we'll be back here on the game time gazette catching up and talking about it um it's been isaiah nani nice simmons <laughs> yeah and uh it's been the game time gazette see y'all